What's going on everybody, it's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at the most powerful laptop that I've ever gotten my hands on. This thing is an absolute monster and runs everything that I've thrown at it. And it's known as the MSI Raider GE78HX13VH. So that 13 definitely indicates we've got a newer CPU here. In fact, we've got 24 cores and 32 threads here of pure power because this is using the brand new Intel Core i9-13950HX. So obviously we're going to have tons of CPU power here, but uh, really when it comes down to gaming, we definitely need to worry about that GPU and we're in luck because this is equipped with the NVIDIA RTX 4080 laptop variant. And this is the 175 watt variant with 12 gigabytes of GDDR6 VRAM. Now, the first thing I wanted to take a look at here was the overall IO. When it comes to some of these newer laptops, they are lacking, but we've got quite a bit here with this Raider. Over here on the left hand side, we've got a 3.5mm audio jack, a 7.0 full size SD card reader, and USB Type-C. This is USB Type-C 3.2, so it will support display out. Moving over to the right hand side, we've got two full size USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports, and another USB Type-C 3.2 port here. Again, display out on this one and PD charging. And finally, around back, we've got a 2.5 gigabit Ethernet port, full size HDMI out, Thunderbolt 4, so this is full speed, 40 gigs, and we've also got the proprietary MSI power adapter. This comes with a 330 watt power supply because like I mentioned, this uh, 4080 in here is actually a 175 watt part and the CPU can actually go up to 75 watts. So before we move any further, I do want to mention that I'd never be able to get my hands on a laptop like this without the help of Micro Center. They were kind enough to send this over for review, so... This video is sponsored by Micro Center. If you're not familiar with Micro Center and you're a tech enthusiast, then you really should be. This is an awesome store that you can actually head in and put your hands on the product before you buy it. Whether you need a monitor, some RAM, a CPU, a GPU, Raspberry Pi, printer, basically anything tech related you can pick up in Micro Center stores. They've got 25 stores nationwide with a new one opening in Indianapolis by the end of the summer and two more by the end of 2025. And by the way, if you sign up for Micro Center's email list and visit the Indianapolis store when it's open, you can get a 128 gigabyte flash drive for free. And right now, in all of their stores, they have a promotion going on known as Monitor Madness. So you can head over to Micro Center and check out the monitors on display to see which one you like the best. They've got really awesome discounts on a ton of them. Like for instance, if you wanted to go with something a bit cheaper, coming in at $80, you could go with this Acer 23.8 inch. It's full HD, so 1080p LED display at 75 hertz. Or if you wanted to go all out with it, you could go with something like this LG 26.8 inch 4K UHD display. Also supports NVIDIA G-Sync. So basically, whatever your tech needs are, Micro Center's got you covered. Okay, so jumping right into the specs here, this is known as the Raider GE78HX13VH, definitely a mouthful there. But for the CPU, we've got the new Intel Core i9-13950HX, 24 cores, 32 threads, and with this we get 8 performance cores up to 5.5 GHz. And when it comes to the efficiency cores, we've got 16 of them up to 4 GHz, so even if we were just running on those, we'd still get some really good performance out of this. For the GPU, we've got that NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4080. This is the laptop variant, 175 watt part with 12 gigabytes of GDDR6 VRAM, 32 gigabytes of DDR5 at 4800 megahertz, a two terabyte NVMe SSD. We've actually got two slots in the unit, so you can easily upgrade the storage. A 17 inch 240 hertz QHD display, which is absolutely beautiful. We've got that resolution of 2560 by 1600. This laptop actually has six speakers built in, and it's definitely one of the best sound systems that I've heard out of a laptop. We've got two 2 watt regular speakers, and we've got four woofers in this unit. It puts out some bass for what we have here. Wi-Fi 6E, Bluetooth 5.3, and we've got a 99 watt hour battery with that 330 watt power supply that's included with the unit. And of course, when it comes to the operating system, we've got Windows 11. So you probably already noticed, we've actually got a lot of RGB on this laptop. We've got that front Aurora bar and a Steel Series 102 per key RGB adjustable keyboard. So it's fully customizable here. You can go in and adjust every single color on every single key with this unit, or you could just go into the Steel Series software and choose one of the presets. And there's a lot to choose from. Personally, I like the Aurora preset. Gives us that greenish blue and purple. I think it looks really good, especially with that bar on the front set the exact same. 
So like I mentioned at the very beginning of the video, this is the most powerful laptop that I've ever tested, and I'm really excited to show you what this thing can do. First up, Cyberpunk 2077, Ultra Ray Tracing 1600p. We can get an average of 80 FPS. Now, it would have been nice if they added a 4K display here, but you know, we've got that 240 Hertz 1600p, which looks really good. And remember, we've also got HDMI around back and three USB Type-C ports. Well, two USB Type-C, one Thunderbolt 4 port. So connecting this to your favorite 4K monitor is really easy. And with a lot of this stuff, we may have to drop a few of the settings down, but it will handle 4K. The next thing I wanted to do was take a look at a few benchmarks that I ran on this unit. And first up, we've got Geekbench 6, single core, 2671, multi, 16,865. I was blown away by seeing these scores, and it's absolutely amazing for a mobile chip, but you gotta keep in mind the CP was pulling up to 75 watts. The next one I ran was Cinebench R23. We got a total multi-core score of 30,261. And this mobile chip is beating out that uh, 2990 WX Threadripper, which is a desktop CPU. Next up, we've got some GPU benchmarks with 3 Mark. First one I ran here was the DirectX Ray Tracing Featured Test, and we got 55.73 FPS. With Firestrike, we netted a 32,084. And finally, Time Spy with a stellar 18,385. So for synthetic benchmarks, this thing's really getting up there for a laptop, but uh, let's get back into some more real-world gaming. Spider-Man Remastered 600p very high settings with no scaling, so I've got DLSS turned off, and of course, if you wanted to net a little more out of this, you could always enable it, or even FSR. But with that 13th gen i9 paired up with this 2080, we don't need any kind of resolution scale with this game at 600p. This setup also handled Elden Ring like a dream, 1600p, max settings, we're at 60 FPS and you'll see that fluctuate there, 59, 60, if that FPS counter wasn't on, you'd never ever notice it. I get this even with higher end systems and even the 3090 desktop variant. Here's Dirt 5 1600p Ultra with no resolution scale. We're getting an average of 111 FPS. Uh, this is one of those games that taxes a lot of CPUs and GPUs, but it looks like this system here can push right through. And if we wanted to go up to 4K with this, I'm not sure if it would hang at Ultra, but we could drop a few of those settings down and certainly get over 60 with it. I always like throwing at least one fighting game in, so here's Mortal Kombat 11, 1600p, max, and I know for a fact that it'll run this at 4K. I've connected this to a larger monitor, and we'll take a look at that by the end. We're going to test out God of War there at 4K, ultra settings, no DLSS. But obviously, when it comes to fighting games, you're going to be good to go on a setup like this. Further down river. We'll find a herd of machines. Are they dangerous? All machines are dangerous. Here's Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 1600p. No resolution scale, so we're not using the LSS or anything like that. And I've set this to ultra settings. We got an average of 148 FPS and a low of only 88. So yeah, I mean, this is one of those games you can play all day on a system like this. And the final thing I wanted to show off here was some 4K gaming. So I've just connected the laptop over HDMI to one of my 4K displays. We've got God of War, no DLSS, ultra settings, and it'll net us an average of around 74 FPS. So we're maxed out here at 4K on this laptop and it looks absolutely amazing. So yeah, overall, this thing is an absolute beast. I mean, it's definitely a very potent combo. The 17-inch display looks absolutely amazing. Got some RGB for people who like it. You can always disable it if you don't want to. But like I mentioned, I'd never be able to get my hands on one of these to take a look at without Micro Center's help. So again, I do want to thank Micro Center for sponsoring this video. And real quick, if you weren't familiar, over on their website, they do have a custom PC builder. 
So from here, you can select each and every part. It'll tell you if it's in stock and what store it's in stock at. Once you get everything selected, they can have all the parts ready for you in store within 18 minutes. And if you don't feel like building it, they also have an option where they can build it for you. It'll definitely save some people time and headache of kind of troubleshooting if something doesn't go right the first time you try to boot it up. So yeah, that's an awesome option. And again, if you're near the Indianapolis area, summer 2023, got a new store coming, and you can sign up here for a 128 gigabyte flash drive for free. So if you're interested in learning more about Micro Center, I'll leave some links in the description. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. Really appreciate you watching. If you've got any questions or if there's anything else you want to see running on this laptop, just let me know in the comments below. And if you're interested in learning more, links for this specific one will be down below. But that's it for this one. And like always, Thanks for watching.